Hi, my name is Luigi and I'm the maestro on the art of napkin folding. What we're doing today is a, a demonstration on the napkin which comes from my book, The Luigi's Language of Napkin Folding. What we're doing now is a swan. There we go, a family of swan. Mummy Swan has gone shopping to Sainsbury or Tesco, one of the two. So they says no here. So we're going to actually do another little uh, brother for the swan. Okay, we take this napkin and we fold it in half. Right? Now it's important to have this line because the line indicates the shape of the swan, which is going to be this one in here. Okay? Now, I'm using a lot of folding with my hands in here. You make certain that your hands are always clean whenever you do napkin folding. So you take open the napkin, right? And having opened the napkin, you take this section and you go into three. You see, one into three. Having done this, then you open this section again and the other one inside. You take the bottom part, this one here, and it goes right to the top of it. Maybe just a little bit above. Can you even see there? And then this part come down, and this will be the beak of the napkin. Now, if you remember, that line that we made was important because now we fold it according to that line. We open the knocking up a little bit, like this. Now, in order for the knocking to stand, we need to create a kind of a base, because it will not stand like this. It will, but... So, but you need a base. So, you take this section in here, and you go up this way, and then you turn it over, and you do the same on the other side. Now you've got a very large base for the knocking to stand. And you go in addition to the family waiting for mommy to come back from the supermarket.